Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video, uh, we're going to continue with our 30 days challenge. Okay, we're on day 5 now. Okay, I have changed this, uh, the project uh, structure a little bit. I mean, not, not the project structure, the the schedule is slightly different. Okay, originally um, I was going to do all the server side first and then we jump on client side. But I have noticed uh, it's going to be really confusing for you guys. So... I thought it's better if we do client and server in the same time, like bit by bit, like for example, publish and subscription. Okay, we, we do that, um, the server side and then the client side in the same time. So uh, today we're going to do a media soup client. Okay, we're going to set up the client with uh, Tailwind CSS. And then tomorrow we're going to do the publish um, for publishing the video conference, like your camera and stuff tomorrow. Um, both client and server side in the following day will do the subs uh, subscription I think that might take more than a day because uh, it's quite um, what do you call it uh, it's quite complicated when you do subscriptions okay pub publishing is really simple um, okay um, my name is Jason by the way uh, I do tutorials based on uh, WebRTC uh, Golang and JavaScript okay if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that um, bell button um, you'll get notified when these new videos okay and um, we're on day five so in other words we've got another 25 uh, videos coming in the next 25 days all right enough talk uh, let's get started okay what we're going to first do is we're going to do uh, uh, in the, our um, client okay what we're going to do is we make a directory let's call it client and we cd into it and we'll open visual studio code for this Okay, we'll open this um, terminal here, and what we need to do is just init the project first. Okay, and then we're going to add a few things here. Okay, I'm going to use JavaScript, okay, so you you see both uh, JavaScript and TypeScript, because essentially they're almost the same thing, you know. If you know how to write a server, um, you should know how to write the client as well. So that's the beauty of, um, you know, using the same language. Uh, for the whole uh, whole stack, okay. All right. Um, let's uh, let's add a few uh, def uh, dependencies, okay. We will need um, yarn. We need a browser file um, thing to start our um, what do you call it? Our app on. So yep. Let's install that. Okay. Yarn add browser file, and then we need that live server. To serve our HTML page, okay, because this is JavaScript, so it, it won't compile anything. So, okay, so we install these as our um, dev uh, dependencies dash dash dev, okay, and then we're going to grab a couple of dependencies for our development, okay. One is the media soup client, obviously, and we need another package for U UUID as well. Okay, let's get install our um, dependencies. Add media soup dash client, and we need UUID as well. Okay. All right, looks it's pretty quick. Uh, what we're gonna do is we set up the folder. We'll do our structure first as usual. Uh, grab a source file first, and let's do our start script. Okay, we do that after the license oh, scripts sorry and this one is start and we need to use this browser file okay and it will be source uh, we haven't made this file yet so let's do that uh, we do that in a sec and then we want to output that into source src we call it app bundle eh? because basically what it does is turning into the JavaScript code into a um, you know a standard um, readable browser readable uh, JavaScript that's what that is doing okay and then we're gonna uh, live server we're gonna kick up the server uh, and source folder src okay because we will be making an HTML um, file in there as well all right 
we will do that now index.html so you understand this now right um, uh, firstly we compile the javascript we write into this called bun app bundle.js and we're going to kick up the live server and the live server will hit this html page okay now we'll make our main.js okay let's set up our html first HTML5, okay, that's what we want. It's a template we get, okay. I'll give it a title Media Soup Video App. Okay, we're going to use the Tailwind CDN, okay, version. So we need to grab that, which is here. Okay, we just need to copy this line and, and we just put it up here. All right, so we've got win now and I have created the what do you call it the HTML already okay because our purpose isn't uh, it's not a tailwind um, tutorial so I'm just gonna paste that in okay um, basically what it is is we're putting a um, what do you call it a diff okay full screen uh, full height uh, full width and then we these two video components okay we're putting in here one is our ourselves and the other one is our guests okay whoever we're talking to okay and we've got a few buttons here and these are the methods okay we're going to make uh, in <clears throat> in our javascript okay when we've got to listen to these events when these buttons are pushed okay we will do that um, in a sec in the next few days as you say all right and that's the html part and let's get started with with our um, javascript stuff okay so firstly we need to bring in our media soup in okay i'm just going to use some um, plain javascript okay no es um 2015 or whatever you know we're going to use the most basic thing okay media soup client Okay, and we're going to bring in that uh, UUID as well, and we want the version 4. Okay, UUID v4 uh, from require UUID. Okay, okay, now we're going to go and reference all our buttons uh, and stuff. Okay. Or our elements, I should say. I'm going to copy and paste these in. Okay, there's quite a few of them. Okay, uh, that's our publish button, publish camera button, uh, button um, camera, and the screen. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do screen publishing as well. Okay, text publishing, which means uh, when we're going to notify the user. Okay, what's going on? That's what these these two are, or these three, I should say. What the status are. And description uh, is the what's the status of the description we will need these later on and local video remote video uh, remote stream device producer okay uh, media suite we need to keep the producer on our client side as well just just like um the server side okay we have, we're not up to that yet on the server side but we will and consumer transport okay and user id uh, camera is it a camera or not true or false okay uh, then we got produce callback okay we, we might not need these I'll leave it in there for now okay that's our web sockets uh, to our server I can't I can't remember if I used 8000 I think I did I'll leave that alone okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reference all these to our actual uh, HTML elements or you know the buttons and the video you know the references okay and then we're going to listen to the button events okay that's a big job here <clears throat> okay but before we do that we have to make sure um, uh, what do you call it the elements are loaded okay we if we the DOM are lo uh, loaded already when the page kicks up okay to ensure that <clears throat> we're going to use um, DOM content content loaded okay these are that's a uh, standard 
uh, vanilla JavaScript um, event. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we're going to do a function. Okay, so basically we don't do this in, unless everything is loaded. Okay, the content. That's what that is. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is we need to grab the the reference to the button cam. Okay, that will be document. dot get element by id okay and we you named it as btn okay underscore webcam okay so we referencing to this guy here right here okay we, we ref we're grabbing him that's what we're doing okay and I'm going to copy and paste all these, okay? Because you, I, I think you got the idea what it is, okay? So we're just grabbing everything because I'm sure you don't want to see me typing all this, okay? So we're basically grabbing all these and putting it into this var, var variable, okay? And then we're going to do the button events listener, listeners, okay? So btn cam, the first one we do, we're going to add an event listener. <clears throat> okay, the event we want to uh, listen to, let's click. Alright. And then once we do that, we're going to call a function called publish. Okay, that function is not there yet, so um, I'll just see it. It will give us error, so I let's come back to this later. Why don't we just go console log uh, cam button clicked okay let's do it like that and we're gonna do the next three okay we've got three more to go because the whole app has three screen uh, three buttons okay the next one is screen even listener click and console log Uh, pop screen button okay that makes more sense actually okay and the last one and when we want to subscribe at even listener click, oh. click. one is sub button clicked okay cool that is it <clears throat> okay next thing we're going to prepare is our connection uh, function okay is we're going to call this as uh, soon as uh, we hit this um, H uh, app like as soon as we open the index HTML we should run this function okay and we'll just call this function connect for now not for now but you know you know what I mean we're gonna call that okay then we're gonna go socket okay remember we've got a variable up here for a socket equals new web socket okay and the URL we'll make a variable up there we'll call it web socket URL okay uh, we don't have that yet have we oh no we, we have that so yep we bring in that okay next we need to listen uh, when the web socket is open on open okay and it is a function and we start our logic from here okay so basically um, once the web socket is connected okay we start our socket request okay and that's pretty much it Okay, one more thing we have to uh, ensure, double check, is our server is running on 8000. Okay, we'll go into our server and we'll open that in Visual Studio Code and we'll just double check if it, if it is. So now our main, uh, yes, it is 8000 we're running on. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, now let's um, start this guy up and we'll have a look at the UI we just made. Oops, sorry. 
okay that's basically um what we made with tailwind okay to um what do you call it two video players and a publish um camera button and a publish desktop and also a subscribe subscribe means you know like we get on here we push sub and then we can see the other end okay i think that will do it for today okay um otherwise if we start doing other stuff uh, this will probably turn out to be like a 40 minute video which is way too long so we're going to do a little longer tomorrow okay tomorrow's one i think it might be half an hour plus because we will do the f uh, what do you call it the publish and also the trend uh, capability of the client okay it's basically exchanging codecs okay with the server and then we're going to connect into it and publish our camera and our desktop okay that's our tomorrow's job all right thank you for watching um sorry it is pretty simple today but this has to be done and we will um continue tomorrow and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe um and look forward to seeing you tomorrow and thank you for those who's been um supporting me and joining with um this 30 days challenge all right until then i'll see you tomorrow